You may remember our Fox 5 I team report about the high cost of Mayor Kasim Reed's two executive protection cars. Some cost $92,000 a piece. Yeah, well, when we asked what the upgrades were, the city refused to show us, saying they were exempt from disclosure under the Georgia Open Records Act due to security reasons. Now our Fox 5 I team reporter, uh, senior reporter Dale Russell, has those invoices that show what taxpayers really paid for the vehicles. Dale? Yeah, Tom, and it was a little bit different than we thought. There were some $17,000 in upgrades on the mayor's cars, each car. We weren't shown any of those upgrades because we were told of security reasons. Really? Well, now we have them. Watching Mayor Kasim Reed drive around town in one of his two GMC Yukon Denali's made us curious. Mayor Reed, could we talk to you for a moment, please? We tried to ask Mayor Reed how much did the cars cost? What were the upgrades? Did the taxpayers get a good deal? Getting a direct answer from the mayor and his staff was difficult. You may remember, we asked for invoices last year. It took three months and help from the state attorney general's office to get the city to give us the records. Open Records Act expects city documents to be turned over to requesting citizens or media in three days. When we finally got the invoice, the city redacted all the upgrades. Mayor Reed spokesperson Jenna Garland and then City Attorney Jeremy Berry both told me the upgrades were redacted because they were safety, security features, and exempt from disclosure by law. I don't see any reason whatsoever that that information should have been redacted. And we asked Good Government you know, Group Common Cause exactly. Director Sarah Henderson an what she thought of redacting the upgrades. It should be all open because every dime of that is taxpayer money. Since then, GBI agents like this one have scoured the hallways of City Hall picking up records and talking to employees as the GBI investigates whether Mayor Reed or his staff violated the Georgia Open Records Act. That investigation began after these texts were broadcast by another TV station. In them, then spokesperson Jenna Garland told a fellow city communications director who was responding to an open records request to be as unhelpful as possible and to drag this out as long as possible. So with the GBI now investigating possible open records violations and the mayor long gone, we filed another open records request for all the upgrades. And we got this unredacted copy from Atlanta police. So we could now see the so-called security features. The first thing we noticed, the city bought a brand new $73,000 Denali, but apparently the mayor didn't like the color. So taxpayers paid $7,200 to paint the two brand new cars a custom dark blue paint scheme. Custom dark blue paint scheme. Does that seem like an item that should be redacted? for security reasons? No, absolutely not. None of that information should be redacted, regardless of what it says. That's public information, that's taxpayer money. Then the custom splash guards, premium floor mats, and chrome door handles. Definitely not a security issue. Don't know why you would need chrome door handles. And then there was this. The city installed a custom rear entertainment system with Blu-ray video. Those two systems cost an additional $3,200 for the taxpayers. Maybe Mayor Reed was watching security videos. A Blu-ray player. Um, <laughs> the fact that it was redacted when you first asked for the information just goes to show that there's something to hide in those numbers and the taxpayers should be uh, upset. They should be furious with that. And one source familiar with this redaction situation told me that the city originally decided to redact all those upgrades so someone couldn't look at the invoice and figure out what security measures were or were not installed on the car. So that's the explanation of this point of view, but we finally have it all right there for the taxpayers to see for themselves. In black and white, and perhaps if they were security measures, they or would have been blue. justifiable, but uh, these leave a lot of questions to be answered. They do, Tom. The, um, you saw why we were interested in the first place. These cars were extremely expensive. They're vehicles for police, uh, for the protection of the mayor. We all understand that. Mm -hmm. But you look at some of the upgrades and you can see why the questions were raised originally. And 
Now we have an answer. Do we know if these vehicles are still in use now? No, I don't know. I believe Mayor Bottoms is using them, but we don't know for sure. I reached out and asked if she's still using the same vehicles because now these cars were bought in 15, so they got a little bit of miles on them. Um, mm. I, I have no way of knowing if they've gotten anything new at this point. All right, Dale, thanks.